Well, this film is uh, the compilation of all the Rexis runoffs which I've had, which were, I felt, inevitable uh, during the procedure. And I call this the Helpless series. These are a compilation of some of the fastest Argentinian flag signs. The first in the case is a case which I did in 2011. A young male patient who had uh, Fuchs heterochromic with a intumescent lens and the lens was so tense I could feel it in the when I was looking at the slit lamp I took a picture and was all ready with all the camera to photograph this dramatic event. The plan then was to use a soft shell technique then uh, perform the initial puncture of the anterior capsule with a 26G needle, aspirate the subcapsular cortex, relieve the tension and then perform a mini rexus. Okay, let us start the case. Ready, steady and go. Boom. There's absolutely no time to do anything else. In a matter of 0 0.03 seconds, it just ran off. So there's absolutely no time to think or do anything else. I really wonder how we could have prevented this. Now moving on to my second case and uh, this again is an 18 year old patient who has a steroid induced cataract, intumescent lens, very tense capsule. By this time I had begun using IV mannitol in majority of my intumescent lenses along with using a, a cohesive OVD which is typically a sodium hyaluronate 1.4 percent. The aim is to overfill the chamber with the cohesive OVD and try to flatten the anterior capsule. I've just made a small initial nick, the C nick. This time I'm trying to get hold of my micro forceps and getting ready to introduce into the eye. But by this time, the anti capsule is already heading out. And boom. Before I could introduce my forceps in the eye, the rexus has won its race. The other eye of the same patient, just a, a couple of months later, same situation. After seeing the capsule again, uh, I'm using OVD to try to flatten it and make a small nick and I'm just trying to get hold of my forceps and this time I got hold of it quite early and keeping the capsule flat, I'm just trying to ensure that I make a very small initial rexus but the other end starts to extend and before I could gather what is happening here, I'm trying to complete at least some part of the rexus that end just goes off followed by the opposite end. You can notice the desperation in me that I am trying to grab something to complete it. The common factor in these three cases, the obvious one was all these patients were very young with highly elastic capsules. Uh, well, this is my last case which I recently presented. The unusual thing about this was, uh, this was in a middle-aged patient and we don't expect the capsule to be so elastic in these uh, middle-aged patients. We usually have some time to maneuver things, but it's not to be in this case. So to conclude, what did I learn from this? After having done successful rexes in a couple of thousand of intermittent lenses, a sense of unpredictability does exist in a small uh, group of patients and it reminds us of the fact that all intermittent cataracts are not the same and the quest continues to, to find the perfect solution.